What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and today I'm doing a follow-up video to the overpowered gaming laptop review. Okay, so I've had the laptop for a couple of weeks, and I've had a chance to mess around with it a bit more, and I got a lot of good feedback and some questions on the review video, and I just wanted to do a follow-up. I had several people ask about the SSD speed on the last video, so we're going to take a look at that some different benchmarks, and then we're also going to look at gaming performance in some PC games as well as some emulators. Hopefully you notice my audio is a little bit better this time. I picked up a lavalier mic on Amazon, and that's thanks to you all um, for helping us out when you use the links in the description. So yeah, thank you, and um, anytime you want to use those, it does help out the channel. So right off the bat, on this thing, you want the Sound Blaster Connect app running all the time to get the best audio. If you're not running it, it kind of sounds not as good. So I'm going to show you how to set Throttle Stop and the Sound Blaster Connect app to run on startup. We'll start off with Throttle Stop. And um, basically, you're just going to come down here and type in Task Scheduler. Run that come over here to create basic task and then put in a name for it I'm gonna call it throttle stop hit next we're gonna tell it to when I log on hit next we want it to start a program and now here we're going to browse to where we have throttle stop at. I've moved it to the um, program files folder. But wherever you have it at, if it's in your, you know, just downloads folder, just browse to the exe, hit open, and then hit next. And down here at the bottom, tick the box that says open the properties dialog for this when I click finish and that's going to open this up and there's a few things we want to click in here first off on general we want to click run with the highest privileges check triggers make sure that you know it's running at logon of your user we want it to start the program throttle stop exe and down here on conditions I'm gonna untick those on settings I'm gonna leave allow this task to be run on demand ticked but I'm gonna untick these two down here and then I'm gonna hit OK and so now when you boot up Windows, when your user logs on, it's just going to automatically start throttle stop. Now the Sound Blaster Connect app, this is pretty key if you want to have good sound coming out of your laptop, but it's a little different because it's a universal Windows app, a UWP app or whatever. And uh, I'll put the link to download this in the description in case you reformat and need to re-download it. But basically, the easiest way to do this is to find it in your Start menu, Sound Blaster Connect. We're going to click on it and drag it to the desktop, and that's going to create a shortcut. Now we're going to open up Windows Explorer, and in the address bar, we're going to type shell colon startup. with no spaces, all lowercase. And this is your startup folder. And whatever you put in here or a shortcut to, it's going to run on startup. It's just not quite as reliable as using the task scheduler, but this is what you have to do for the UWP apps. After that, you just close it. And now when we restart, both of these are going to automatically um, run. That's pretty nice because really you need the Sound Blaster app for the good sound and it's a kind of a hassle to have to um, boot it up every single time. I had it pinned to the taskbar, you know that made it a little bit easier, but just having it automatically kick on is far superior. Same thing with throttle stop, there's really like 
never a reason why I want my CPU to run hotter or take more power on a laptop. <laughs> um, so basically, so here we are, we're starting up. I need to update Afterburner, it looks like. But there you go, we, our Sun Blaster automatically started up, so no more having to restart it every time. And if we look down here in the bottom corner, you'll see the um, throttle stop is automatically running too. So I hope that was helpful. I also had an issue one time after an audio driver update where I launched Forza Horizon 4. I'm not sure if everything would do this, but I got garbled audio out of it and the fix ended up being to go to sound settings. And then let's see, I think I went to device properties and then additional device properties over here. And then down here in advanced, um, it was set for studio quality and that was giving me problems and causing some garbled audio and um, I basically set it for DVD quality hit OK and that fixed the problem so I'm not sure what kind of fix that is or if that's technically the best thing but it fixed all the problems that I was having so if you have a driver update and you get some weird sounding audio on something give that a try on the review for this several people asked about the SSD speed so I'm going to throw that up on the screen right now. I ran Crystal Disk Mark, and I'm no SSD expert, but it looked to be kind of in the same range as the other like comparable SSDs. It's a SATA drive. It's not NVMe, but it's plenty fast um, when I've been using it, and feels basically like any other system that I've used that has an SSD. Before we get into the performance stuff, I'm going to throw my settings up on the screen for what I have in Throttle Stop as well as MSI Afterburner. I ran the benchmarks at stock settings and then I ran them again with the undervolt underclock on the CPU and the overclock on the GPU applied. So inside throttle stop, in addition to lowering the core and cache voltages, I have the five and six core clock speeds set to 3.6 gigahertz. That doesn't really affect gaming a whole lot, but it does lower the thermals. Then inside MSI Afterburner, I have a 168 MHz overclock on the core and 328 MHz on the memory. Okay, now to the benchmarks. Let's start with the CPU. Um, at the stock clocks, we got a whopping 1260 in Cinebench. That's really good. And then with our undervolt and underclock on it, we still got an 1166. That's almost 100 points lower than the stock clocks but the performance difference is going to be negligible for most games. Next we're going to take a look at 3 d Mark Firestrike and this tests a combination of the CPU and GPU together and is more representative of what a game is going to put your system through. At the stock settings it got a 9918 and then with our undervolt and overclock settings applied in um, throttle stop and afterburner we got a 10521 so a noticeable improvement. I also wanted to show how some emulators run on this laptop because it has a super strong CPU and that's really what's key for emulation. Um, a lot of titles don't really tax a high-end GPU and a 1060 is more than enough for basically anything I can think of that you can emulate. Of course you can do old systems on this like the 8-bit and 16-bit stuff, but you're not going to have any problem uh, with emulating newer things either like PS2, Dreamcast, and even like Wii U. So here you can see this was running Mario Kart 7 really well at full frames per second. And I also had a really good experience when I tried some Zelda. So as you can see, the Wii U emulation was really nice on this thing. So yeah, let's take a look at some PC games.
Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. They're gonna burn to ash. Yes, So take easy on me. Shit, man, I've been praying on this all day, man. I've been asking the Monkey King, all the baby Jesuses, even the Bill Valentine's one, just to send me a sign, man, and they sent me you. I'll tell you something, though, man. Getting that truck, it ain't gonna be easy. Damn cult's got it, man. While we're honest with you, it all started when, when I tried to join them. I mean, I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are three things I'm really all about. I mean, it seemed like one big party over there, you know? So I said, I said, hey, me, those, where do I sign up? They said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating. Turns out that means fucking. No, no alcohol and no wild note partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck out of there, man. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm about to go win y'all. I'd like to kill you again. Play your cup, right? Okay, so that's the follow-up video to the overpowered laptop review. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions about the laptop, drop them in the comment below. I'll try to get back to you on here. Or if there's enough questions, maybe I'll do a second follow-up video. Um, if you liked it, give us a like. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.